Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And, okay, so listen. <clears throat> y'all already know I want to talk about some people, <laughs> and the people are super sent, and her, I guess, ex-fiance. Um, this, he came out, like, a week ago, um, but I just, it just slipped my mind, and I was going through my phone, and I saw that I had saved the video. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and just finish this out. So, super sent. Those... For those who don't know who Supercent is, um, from what I understand, she is a businesswoman, an entrepreneur. She is very, she has a very successful makeup line. I think it's called the Crayon Kit or the Crayon Case, something like that. I was first introduced to Supercent on, I think it was Facebook. She used to do like videos and stuff, and I was like, oh, she, you know, I thought she was funny. And so, like at one point, I started following her, and that's when I found out that she uh, does makeup and stuff. Um. So I think, and again, I think she's very successful uh, in the beauty industry with her line and all that good stuff. So shout out to Supercent. Well, you know, I've also noticed along the way that Supercent, you know, she going to keep a man, okay? Um, I remember she was dating a guy named Lou. Maybe they were engaged. I don't know. Um, I, think they had a, I think they have a child together. But anyways, she was dating a guy named Lou, and then that relationship ended. And then, like, I looked up girl within like 24 to, four, 24 to 48 hours she was in another relationship with the current guy I think he goes by the name of Razor or Ray girl so Super came out the other day and let it be known that her and the guy had broke up they were actually engaged she was planning a wedding and she got online and basically said that he was beating on her and dragging her on the interstate. And I'm one of the, I'm part of the group where if a woman says that girl, she was hit based off of the things I know, based off of the stats, girl, I'm probably going to believe her. Supercent came back out and did a video. Now, I saw the video. The video that I have is like a, an 11-minute clip. I don't know if it was longer than 11 minutes, but that's the video that I have. We're going to listen to this audio together. And um, Supercent, girl. This is one of those situations when I tell, when, I, when, when, when we have these conversations about people in relationships who like to fight, we've had those conversations more than a few times on my channel. And some, some people in the, in, get in the comment section act like they don't know what I'm talking about. And that's fine. I guess that might not just be your world, okay? But the, the fact of the matter is there are people out there who are in relationships, whether they are gay or straight, non-binary, whatever. And girl, it's just one of those things where it's like they only know how to fight. And then, girl, they'll, they, they'll fight each other. And then, girl, the next day is like nothing happened. And based off what I heard from the clip that we're going to listen to, that's what it sounds like Supercent is how the relationships that she's in, or at least this one. Supercent sounds like someone who does not know how to keep her hands to herself. He sounds like someone who doesn't know how to keep his hands to himself. And, but it, it doesn't sound like, let's just listen to the clip. It, 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 I don't think it's one of those situations. I think this is one of those situations where you have a man and a woman who are toxic, who probably grew up seeing certain things and they think that's how, they think that that's okay. They think that's an okay um, thing to do in a relationship. Just fight each other, and then, girl, that's what it is. Because in the hood, you fight each other, and then you let these you know that you, you're not gonna play with me, and then we back together the next day. Very toxic, very just, girl. A B U S I V E, girl. Very, very much that. But they also think that it's okay, and it's like, girl, that's not okay. All right, let's listen to this clip together, girl. I'm going to be stopping and starting. I'm going to try not to do a whole bunch of stopping and starting, but once I feel like some things have been said and I want to make a point, 
then I'll stop. But I'm going to try not to do a whole bunch of stopping and starting, okay? All right, so this is what this is a clip that I have. Uh, in my life as if I'm, I'm um, I am distraught. I am I am going through something. I'm I'm going through something because I'm I'm suffering a, a breakup. I'm not not only am I suffering a breakup, my kids are suffering a breakup. So it's not just about it's not just about me. I spent almost three years with somebody and my kids did too. So I don't want nobody to feel like, oh, you know, she's 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 going through it, and um, and she, I'm going through something because I'm I'm dealing with a, a breakup that I was not expecting. With her with her mentioning her kids, I just want to say this: I think those of you who are in situations like this, and those of you who have kids, I would hope that you would not want your kids to think that situations like this are okay. Like, I know Supercent has either a son or two. Like, you don't want your sons growing up thinking that this is the way that you relate to women. This is how you move in a relationship. Because if they have access to the internet, then they probably know what's going on between Supercent and Stepdaddy, right? And you don't want to remain in a relationship even if you started the fight for your sons to grow up thinking, oh, well, my mama went through it and she stayed, right? I just, I, 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 I just want y'all to start. If you, I don't know if y'all thinking about y'all kids or not. I don't know. But I want y'all to start just thinking about your kids and what could potentially happen with them growing up in a toxic ass environment. Like it sounds like what's going on over there with Supercent and that man of hers. Let's just get that over with. Um, I got too much love and respect for Ray to get on here and 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 drag for him and make him feel like he just is fucked up, whatever. But I, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna defend the nigga neither. I'm not gonna defend the nigga. I'm not gonna like lie about no nigga. I'm not gonna the truth is the truth, and it is what it is. Like I'm not gonna be on some, oh um, I'm taking him back, I'm still single. I'm not engaged. We're not gonna act like you know what what happened between us is not something for for me to pack my bags and and move on until somebody really takes some some type of ownership or deal with some type of consequences. The night when I was on when I was on Snapchat, we was planning the game night. And listen, I'm I'm real big on everybody. Know I'm super public about about my relationship. I'm super public about what's good, what's bad. I don't really too much hide everything. How people try to make it seem like, oh, um, you, um, you try to make everything look like it's glistening. Like, no, I don't. That's not me. That's that's y'all face. That's not me. I don't get on here and make it seem like we don't deal with real relationship problems because we do. We we normal. We regular people, and that's fine. And also, I'm I'm a woman that's that's gonna fight a nigga. So we're not gonna make it seem like, oh, a nigga just laid me down and 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 brought me out, and I'm scared. I'm 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 never scared of a nigga. I'm not. And ain't no nigga gonna put his hands on me without me putting my hands on him. So that's yeah, I will say that. I know it, it's a good it's a good chance you're not gonna beat no man up. Not to say it's not gonna it couldn't happen with a, with a few people out there. But girl, I know that's right. I, one thing I will say, baby, don't don't lay there and just let no nigga just knock you upside your head. Now, girl, you might win. You're probably gonna win, but girl, we're gonna turn this building up. <laughs> okay. Oh, but we're gonna turn. Oh, wait, we, girl, this building is coming down. Okay, because baby, the way we about to act a fool up in there, yeah. This is what it is. Race statement, appreciate it. Do, but realistically, you did call physical harm to me. I called phys I call physical harm to you. When we was in a car, I had my little glasses on. I had my little glasses on, my little um my little metal glasses that he bought me for um for Christmas. I'm just shopping in the video. My little metal glasses that he bought me for Christmas. And I, I put my music on because we arguing and I'm trying to get to a space where I'm not trying to be aggressive, uh, the, the aggressor all the time. I'm, I'm known for, you know, fighting my boyfriend. Uh, I'm known for hitting somebody first. I'm known for doing. The you heard her. I'm known for hitting somebody first. We've had conversations like this before, too. You know, I, you know, I'm pro woman. OK, I'm woman. Hear me roar. But I also live in the real world, and I also know that there are women out there who will pass a lick first. 
I think that we should we need to get to a point where everybody, girl, you need to sit on your hands, keep your hands to yourself. That's something they teach us when we're little boys and girls. And little non binaries and non and little non gender conforming folk, right? Keep your hands to yourself. She's telling y'all, she's telling us, sometimes I knock a nigga upside his head first. And it may not be right. And we ain't even got to go down that path, a girl. But girl, you put your hands on these people first. And girl, you hit them hard enough. Then what you think is going to happen in response? Fucking up shit. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to be a better partner. I know even though like women don't want to be hit and men don't want to be hit either. So I'm trying to work on that. And I've been working on that lately. I'm not going to, I've been doing a little bit better with not swinging on a nigga, not bopping a nigga. I've been, I've been real good with that. I, I, I think me personally, I've, I've been real without seeking therapy. I need to seek therapy, but yes, you do. on my own, I've been working real good on not punching my nigga first. I've been doing good. So kudos to me. So when, so it sounds like what happens sometimes is she gets into these arguments with her nigga and they popping off at the mouth and then she gets so angry that she hits them. And then it sounds like from that point, it just goes downhill. When I had my glasses on and he tried to snatch my glasses off my face and me not looking, I felt like you hit me. And me feeling like you hit me, I snuck him back. Don't don't snap all that snatching stuff for me and all that. That should be an aggressive with me. We said we weren't doing that anymore. We said we was not doing anything. We're not moving off emotions. We're not we're not being aggressive with one another. Like we didn't. Now I will say not to try to defend her because it sounds like she got some wrong in this in this relationship too. But if you are, I don't give a damn if it's your husband, wife. I don't give a damn who it is. If we, if you know we're in the midst of an argument, don't come over here snatching my glasses off of my face. And then especially when you're in a relationship like this, where it's already physical and you know, you already know the person that you're dealing with, he should have kept, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have got up in her space, right? Again, I'm not trying to take away from the fact that she done told us that she popped these nickels first, but I'm just saying he shouldn't have snatched her glasses off of her face, knowing that. In this relationship, you know the way that y'all move. And to that, to that, to that point in our relationship, to where we're not gonna put our hands on each other, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. So when you snatch something from me, and I felt like you hit me, I'm not, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the road. We in the car. I'm looking at the road, and you take my glasses off my face. So I felt like you hit me. I snuck them, knocked his vanel. Don't put your hands on me. So when Miss Thing said she did, she say she knocked his. You know, you know, you know, she got a little thick out uh, New Orleans accent. Girl, did she say she knocked his veneer out? <laughs> yeah, I said, God damn, girl, how hard you hit that man? Girl, I said either he got his veneers done, girl, in the back alley somewhere in New Orleans, girl, somewhere old girl, <laughs> somewhere in the French quarters, girl, either she didn't really knocked his ass out, girl, for your whole veneer to come flying out your mouth. Oh, she popped him real good. Yeah. Now you trying to restrain me. We on some restraining shit. And you pull over on the side of the road on the arm ramp because you restraining me. I get out because I don't want you restraining me. When I get out the car, we on the, we, we on the side of the interstate. When I get out the car, don't, don't, don't bring me back to the car. Let me, let me calm down. I, I'm removing myself so, so I can calm down. You can calm down. We both upset right now. It could get worse, whatever. As I'm walking away from the car, you drag me back to the car. Why, why is you dragging me back back to the car? Now I'm not restraining. I'm not. I'm not struggling with you. I'm not. I, I, I'm not fighting you. But now you dragging me back to the car. I'm not mad that you dragged me. I'm mad because you had no regard for people that could see us. You had no regard for the people that's watching. You had no regard if anybody could have pulled over, did something, somebody could have got involved. We in same time in the parish, the, bitch, the, the fucking police could have seen you. Anything could have happened. I ain't break up right because we had a little scuffle. Donald this is what we do. I broke up with you because you had no regard for us being in public and you dragged me to a car. Nah, I didn't break up with him because we had a little scuff because that's what we do. Oh, girl. That's what I'm saying, girl. Y'all starting to normalize stuff that shouldn't be normalized. It shouldn't be. It should never pop out of your mouth, girl. 
I didn't break up with you because we had a little scuffle. Because <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> no, that's not what we do. Okay. So you, so it sounds, <laughs> it sounds like two percent was walking down the side of the road, <laughs> side of the freeway. Two percent. If we're gonna be fair, okay. While no, he shouldn't have been trying to drag you and put you back in the car. It's not like I'm sure with I, I'm assuming that she she was born and raised in New Orleans. I don't know, but if you're walking down the interstate, people could still drive by and be like, "Girl, I saw Super Saiyan walking down the sidewalk. <laughs> I saw Super Saiyan walking down a motherfucking fifty nine. Girl, I saw Super Saiyan walk, walking down I ten. Girl, I think that man was getting into a fight." Right now, of course, now it's going to take it to the next level because you're walking down the side of the interstate, the interstate, the freeway. <coughs> excuse me, and he's trying to pull you back in the car, and now this, now all of this chaos is breaking out, right? Because you're probably fighting him, you know, to get off of you, and he's, you know, trying to pull you. So now it's now it's really making a scene. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that he was right. But it's not like people wouldn't have noticed you walking down the, from down, down the side of the, uh, of the interstate. It just sounds like this is a relationship is a mess and they don't need to be together. But I'm going to tell you why this is the reason why people need to stay out of folks' business. Because low-key, towards the end, she told me everything I needed to know. I'm going to put this tea out because I ain't know who seen us on the side of the room. It was too many people passing us on the side of the road. Anybody could have seen this. Anybody could have took a video. They got people pulling over. Anybody could have seen it. That's why I put it out. And not to mention, I forgot when I was on, it's plenty of times I told, I told, when I'm on live, I told y'all, when, when me and Ray get into it and every time we be on some breakup shit, Ray, Ray don't feel like it's the real breakup until it's posted. Ray used to ask me, oh, post it because it's not real if you don't post it. Ray wanted a public breakup. That's what he wanted. That's why I made the post. I don't, I, don't, I I I wanted to deal with my breakup privately. I feel like when we break up, you know, we could go out, we can go our separate ways, and when it come out, it come out. But no, but like last time, I, I I posted before I was single because he asked me to, and when I did, he started crying, and I took it down. Like we're not gonna act like, and I told my lie this. I told lie. I'm like, when we break up, you be want me to post it, and you want me to tell everybody because you feel like it's not it's not authentic until 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 we really like until it's posted. I don't, I don't want, I did that already. I don't want to do that. Either. That's why I post it so you can feel free. Not just that, when we on our way home, I'm thinking you would have been, you know, a little, a little apologetic, a little, you know, remorseful. The whole time, the, the, the whole time we in the car, you, you mad at me as if I done you something. So now I'm like, okay, bet I can't wait till I get home. When I get home, bitch is over for you. That's how I felt in that moment. When Ray coming back to my post of me, I didn't, I didn't say, oh, Ray fucked up and he this. No, no, I said, let me put this tea off. I'm, I'm no longer engaged. I'm, I'm single, this and all that. We're not going to be friends because we're not. Whatever. And then you double back with the calling me a bully. Did I play on words? Yes. I should have dodged him licks. Was Ray punching on me? No. I did play on words. So maybe I, 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 I over exaggerated a little bit. But Girl, the way that you made the scene, let me see if I can find this post. Because the way that you made it seem was like Ray was basically over there knocking you upside your head in that car. But hopefully I still have the post. So now she's saying basically, did I exaggerate? Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could take, I wish I would have dodged them licks. Not acting like he just like he just, not acting like he ain't just fight and drag me on the interstate. Who child don't gas like me before I spill for real? Like you, the way it, yeah, the way that you put it, you did make it seem as though like girl, he was over there knocking you upside your head, girl, knocking your head between the back seat and the front seat. That's how I took it. Drag me? Did we fight? Yes. Yes. I mean, let's let's be real. We did. We did. You was aggressive with me. 
I got to go to bed. But this is what we do. And but we said we wasn't doing that anymore. That's, That's why I was pissed off. We said we was not doing this. We we made a vow to we are too grown. We got too much going on for us to be moving off emotions and for us to get physical because we upset. I know that all too well. That's me. A nigga make me mad. I'm bopping. I'm, I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't because I have to deal with repercussions if I keep hitting on a man. I, I know what I got to deal with me putting my hands on a nigga. I got to deal with whatever come behind it. I don't want to deal with that. I'm not stronger than a man. I don't give a fuck about a whole set. I'm bigger. I'm taller. Bitch, I'm not stronger than a fucking man. Ain't no way you gonna sit around and say, oh, ain't no way she let that little Ray is stronger than me. Any man is stronger than me, bitch. I'm not no man. I'm gonna fuck how tall I am, how big I am. I am not no man. You ain't no man. You can't physically beat no man. You just can't. I don't know why motherfuckers act like, oh, he, he couldn't have. He, no, it would have made more sense to say, I, I ain't no, I, I ain't no, we cool. I ain't gonna let no nigga put their hands on me. I ain't gonna, especially without me fighting back. So that's why I, I ended my relationship. Not on some, I'm, I'm battered and I'm, I'm, I'm in this ab uh, abusive ass. No, because I felt like you ain't give a fuck in that moment and we said we wasn't doing it no more. You didn't. I got a whole lot of love and respect for Ray. A whole lot. I don't feel like Ray's a fucked up person. I don't feel like he's an abusive person, but I do feel like he need help. Yeah, you do, do too. You do too. You do too. I do feel like he need help. You do too. Both need help. Yep. But he need help. He need to see somebody. You do too. You gotta work on his temper. You do too. If I make you mad, nothing, nothing I should say, nothing I should do should make you mad enough to reach for me in no type of way. It ain't nothing wrong with that. We we all probably need some help, but we do. He gotta get help. I'm I'm fucked up because of my relationship ended. That's why I'm fucked up. I'm not fucked up because I was abused. I'm fucked up because everything I put into everything I poured into this relationship is is has ended. So I just wanted to put that out there. Because I am a public and I'm not again, I'm not I ain't asking for no privacy. It is what it is. I see a lot of people making fun of and you know, saying some whatever. It is what it, I know what come with this. That's why I ain't wanna do this. That's why I ain't wanna do the the public breakup. That's why I said I'd rather deal with my breakup privately. So we just, you know, we all need some counseling. We all need some therapy. I definitely appreciate his um his post of apologizing because he knew he was wrong for that. He knew he was wrong. Bitch, I ain't no bullet. Don't play with me. Bitch, don't play with me. And he ain't no bullet. I, I would never got on that so yeah, I dodged a bullet because that would be a lie. That would be a lie. That would be a lie. Because I don't look at you as a bullet. I don't. But um, I appreciate everybody that reached out to me um, during that time because it was it, it was and still is an emotional time for me. I appreciate y'all. It means um, a lot to me. I wish Ray the best. Hopefully, um, I don't know. I, I I'm not gonna flex like like it's fuck Ray and and, and Rick or die and Rick or whatever. I I'm I'm, I'm deeply in love with Ray. That was my fiance. Like I, last week, I was playing the wedding. So I'm just saying if we, if he able to seek help and I, and I ain't saying, say it, I'm talking about on some real, like, I gotta go, I gotta, I, I gotta move on while you deal with your, with your trauma and your, and I gotta work on myself too, but we, we can't do that together. We gotta do that separate. And whatever happened with that, I don't know, we may revisit, we may not. Love y'all. Bye. So it sounds like to me, as long if Ray gonna get some help and come back to her and show her that he's a changed man, and if she go get some help and I guess show him that she's a changed woman, then it sounds like they're gonna get back together. That's what it sounds like to me. Is that what y'all took from it? That's what I took from it. That's why I be saying sometimes, sometimes you just gotta stay out of these people business because, girl, you 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 be getting worked up over you been got worked up over Ray. And honey, she'll be back with Ray by the end of the, by, girl by the end of springtime. Sure, okay. And they be back planning their wedding because he went through because he went to a, to, to a, a few coaching sessions. I wish Super sent the best. You know, like I said, I don't really keep up with Super Sent no more like that. Um, 
But, you know, I really don't, I, I never really hear bad things about her. I'll say that much. Um, besides this, this is really the only thing that I've really heard about Supercent. Um, I would suggest, I think we all need, need a therapy session or two. But Supercent, you need to work on yourself too. I mean, but I thought she, she knows that. She knows that. So I'm not saying nothing that she doesn't already know. But, you know, again, hopefully, you know, Supercent, girl, you don't need to be with that man. And that man don't need to be with you. Um, Girl, just 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 keep running your beauty empire, girl, and good luck and keep making all the money. Um, that's all I really had to say. I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.